two, one. First thing I'm doing is getting us a coffee because we need to be awake here. It's early, 7.15. Could I get one medium Pike Place coffee with one milk? And do you also have that pink dragon fruit drink? It's a fresh pink sitting right now. Okay. Oh, you just take the drink out. Oh, geez, that makes more sense. <laughs> Thank you. No worries, thank you very much. You know what, this day is perfect. It's gonna be like 15 degrees. There's not a cloud in the sky, there's no wind. Everything's on a silver platter, I think. Got the Gary Malloy sweater, got G Money on the shoulder. Yep, I think we got something fast coming up. Mississauga, picking up Alexis. You need to explain my, your drink to me. Oh, okay. What um, is this? So, this is a, a dragon fruit drink at Starbucks, mm -hmm. and it's a. Uh, I just tried it the other day for the first time, so I'm not one of those people who got it this their entire life. But now I will be one of those people because it's so good. Do you want to try it? It's no, dragon it's okay. fruit. It's dragon fruit mixed with lemonade, um, and it's like, like you just sip it and you're like, whoa. You're gonna be filming as we pass through. Yes. Yeah. I think it's a good race to film, ish better than a regular road 10k because we're going to be doing it on the loop um, and when i say we i the cat's out of the bag jeff costin is going to be racing as well so we're um we're going to try to stay as distant as possible we're going to be outside no indoors so we do our best to follow the rules and uh if all goes well we'll be pretty socially distant in the last kilometer if you know what i mean but i don't know who's going to distance who, so. <laughs> nice one We'll see what happens next. That was kind of funny. I stole the joke from Dan McGuire. Oh, okay. Nice one, Dan. Yeah. Today's race, this is the first time that I'm racing a 10K in like five years. And uh, I think going under 32 is possible, but I'm also wondering if it's a bit lofty because I kind of forgot what it feels like. I think you could do it under 29. Under 29? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna cry if you get under 29? If I run under 29, I'm transferring you my entire stock portfolio. Well, he's got 4%, this is just a 3% shoot. <laughs> so we'll do the adjusting at the end? Yeah, so that's uh, 4%. You guys are looking very matchy smatchy. Yeah. Okay. Did you board it? Pick it up a Cody Field. Okay, Sorry. Kelly, you want to count us in? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Can you do some like really videos? informative but really boring let's, YouTube videos? Let's video go from five. Okay. Five, one, three, five. All right. Let's just right here. Yep. I'll follow yeah, you the first one. Go Alex! Woo! You got it! 
it, Alex? There's no one to blame but myself. The reason Alexis didn't get all that many shots of the second half of the 10K is because I got lost in the Mount Pleasant Cemetery and veered off the course. Now, the good thing about this race being not official is that it doesn't really matter what, what the course is. It only matters if you finish 10K. So for the second part of this race, I kind of just did loops around. So this is what the this is what the race is supposed to look like. See Jeff Costin did a bunch of a bunch of loops here. And and, and this is my Strava profile. But since there's no real start and finish line, I suppose a 10k is a 10k. Either way, look, I wanted to go under 32. It ended up being a bit over 32. And uh it's something that I'm still pretty happy about, you know. I think it was about a year ago from this time I was struggling to just put 10K together, just an easy run without feeling somewhat injured. So uh, this is a huge step in the right direction. Training's been going quite well. The last 10 weeks I averaged almost 100 kilometers. This is pretty much healthy numbers. So I'm hoping to keep that going. And uh, I think the plan for what's coming up is probably get in on some more track workouts and uh, try to sharpen up to run a good 5k. There's a guy in London named Jacob something, and he says he wants to beat me in a race. And so I can't let that happen. Um, so either I'm gonna dodge him or, or I'm gonna get pretty fit over 5k. So the next weeks we'll decide that one. But uh, thanks for watching up to here and uh, happy with how today went. It's, uh, it's a good stepping stone. Onwards from here. <laughs>